After three days of listening to world leaders praise the nuclear deal with Iran, I begin my speech today by saying, ladies and gentlemen, check your enthusiasm at the door. I've long said that the greatest danger facing our world is the coupling of militant Islam with nuclear weapons. And I'm gravely concerned that the nuclear deal with Iran will prove to be the marriage certificate of that unholy union. Iran's rulers promised to destroy my country, murder my people, and the response from this body, the response from nearly every one of the governments represented here, has been absolutely nothing. Utter silence. Deafening silence. President Obama and I have both said that our differences over the nuclear deal are a disagreement within the family. But we have no disagreement about the need to work together to secure our common future. I am prepared to immediately, immediately resume direct peace negotiations with the Palestinian Authority without any preconditions whatsoever, because I remain committed to a vision of two states for two peoples in which a demilitarized Palestinian state recognizes the Jewish state. Israel expects the Palestinian Authority to abide by its commitments. The Palestinians should not walk away from peace.